Greg Breitbach, head football coach, Millersville University. Well, I've been coaching college football. This will be my 21st season of coaching college football. Um, been fortunate enough to coach at almost every level of college football. Uh, spent a large portion of my career in NAIA, Division III, Division II, and most recently the last five years at the University of North Dakota coaching Division I football. Um, so that all of those experiences have kind of led me to this position and uh, have given me a strong feeling that, that I'm excited about uh, leading this program in a, in a positive direction. Um, some of the things that I'm most uh, excited about and, and reflecting back on my coaching career, um, it's just the experiences that I've had with the players and watching the successes that have come individually from those players through the years uh, as they've developed into uh, community leaders, businessmen, fathers, uh, all those types of scenarios. It's, it's really fun to get that phone call uh, from a player that you know, lets me know he's, he and his wife have just had a new baby or he just got a new job, whatever that might be, and knowing that I was in some way uh, a part of that, helping develop him into the, into the human being that he is um, at that point in his life. You know, the wins and losses are fabulous. I've been fortunate enough to be part of conference championship teams, playoff teams, uh, and, and those are things that I take with me and remember as well. Uh, and we're looking forward to creating those type of memories again here. In our recruiting process here at Millersville, uh, we're just at the front end of it. We, we haven't uh, been through a full yearly cycle, um, but we're, we're working very hard to get started and get our program in place. Uh, probably the first step that we need to do is making sure that we've found enough talent and uh, in this state, in the state of Pennsylvania, in the local region, uh, even the surrounding states that are close to us, there's so much talent that there's a lot of players out there and uh, we've done a nice job as a coaching staff making a deep, a deep pool of, of talented players that we've identified. The first step in the process is to take a look at their athletic ability and determine whether or not they can be successful here at Millersville and in the PSAC at the Division II level. And once we've done that and moved forward, then we want to know, are they a Millersville guy? Are they going to fit in in this community, this university, and academically, are they here for the right reasons? So we, we spend some time trying to go through their academic background and see if that's a fit. Then as you move further in the process, we call it their intangibles. We want to know what type of leadership skills they have, uh, what type of dedication they have, personal responsibility. All of the things that we try and do as a program fall into the intangible categories. And we have a select list of questions that we're going to ask to people that are close to that recruit, whether it be their high school coach, might be their counselor at school, principals, all those type of people ha that have a, a very clear picture about this young man's history help us uh, develop our intangibles. And once all of those things fall in alignment, their talent, their academic uh, background, and their intangibles, obviously then we want to try and bring that type of person that fits all of those into Millersville and hopefully we're a fit for them. Well, development of the student athlete is the real reason we're here as football coaches. Uh, it has more to do than with just developing their athletic ability and their ability to play the game of football. We're trying to help these young men develop the life skills that are going to give them a chance to be successful down the road. You know, all of the beautiful things that come from football, teamwork, self-discipline, you know, all of the focus that it takes, uh, all of the sacrifice that it takes, the attitude, the commitment, all of those different attributes come together and uh, over the course of time, if you do enough things right over four and five years, that's who you become. You become a successful person and that's what we're trying to help our young men develop into when they graduate from Millersville University. They've got the life skills to go out there into the real world and uh, take it by storm and be leaders.